Hey y'all, it's your friend Massey Lee. On this channel, I shop and style for you so that you can spend your time doing more important things. Today I have a Walmart video. I have got some great business outfits and some casual things you're not gonna wanna miss, including a pair of sandals that I am pretty confident are gonna sell out really fast. Oh, and some pants, unicorn pants that are both as comfy as pajamas, but put together looking as dress pants. You're not gonna wanna miss it. If you are not already following me over on the Like to Know It app, the community tab here on YouTube, Instagram, uh, something else. Oh, I have a newsletter I send out once a week with all the good sales. You definitely don't want to miss that one, including things I don't show on any of the other platforms. Then go follow me on those places. I show outfit ideas, affordable outfit ideas, especially from Walmart to put together for you guys. So you don't have to think about how to put outfits together. It's just laid out right there in front of you with shoppable links. You can just click, 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 and you've got a whole outfit, a whole wardrobe if you want it. I mean, we try to put out seven or more 10, 12 sometimes a day outfits or sell items or new releases for you to find. So you don't have to go do all that yourself. It saves you some time and some money. Number one on my list is this Scoop Relax one button blazer for $45. It comes in two different colors, sizes extra small through 2XL and I'm wearing a size extra small. Step into my office. <laughs> Just kidding. I am in love with this suit. It's a little long on me, but I'm gonna go through each piece here. Oh, I even have a purse that goes with it to show you. Um, so you can put this together for yourself or just buy it piece by piece if you would like. First, let's go over this blazer. They are calling this the one button scrunch sleeve blazer by Scoop. It does have an inside button that you can put here probably to make it look a little more put together when it's open, um, but I just had it like it is. It does have pockets that I think are functional, but I haven't, cut the sewing in it so I'm not for sure on that but I am 5'2 and I love this length because it covers my rear end I don't typically feel super confident with the way my rear end looks in dress pants because of hell damage and they're usually not very forgiving so this is super nice to be able to wear a pants suit with this blazer over it I love it I do personally think it looks a little better um, buttoned maybe it's just on my body type if you have a different body type it may look great unbuttoned as well Anyway, so that is the blazer. It does come in two different colors. One of the other colors it comes in, I actually posted a um, shop the look thing on my LTK. If you're not following me over there, definitely follow me over there for lots of ideas and my Instagram. But it comes in like, I don't know what you would call the color. It's not peach, it's not camel, it's somewhere in between those two colors, but it is beautiful. And the great thing about shopping the same brand, Walmart has a few different brands, Scoop is one of them, that kind of has a color palette for that season. So you can mix and match things and you can also put an outfit together really easily by just staying in the same brand because you know the colors are gonna match exactly. Number two on my list is the Scoop High Waisted Trousers for $36. They come in two different colors, sizes extra small through 2XL and I'm wearing a size extra small. Okay, so let's talk about these trousers. I am wearing an extra small. It does have the little uh, clasp here with a zipper and I don't think it has, actually it does have some functional pockets on the front um, the back are sewn in, so I'm not sure, and some belt loops. A lot of times, if I don't have a blazer, well, even if you do have a blazer, I like to put a belt with a dressier pant just because I think it pulls the outfit together a little bit, especially if you don't have a blazer. I almost feel like you need a belt. So I really love that it has a belt loop. Some dress pants don't have belt loops, so something to keep in mind when you are looking for dress pants. Let's look at the, the back side. You've got the slit pockets that are popular to have on trousers and dress pants. So you've got that, and it does come come with a kind of a crease. It's supposed to be creased. The pants are meant to be creased on the front and all the way down the back. I can feel them on the back of my legs there. You've got a crease. It does have a slight flare, but not anything super dramatic. And I am 5'2". I am wearing a block heel. This is also a Scoop brand shoe I'm gonna show you here in a second. With the heel, it is still just a touch long on me. So I would need to get these hemmed. Keep that in mind, um, depending on your height. But I love them otherwise. They don't have a lot of stretch, but they do have a little bit of stretch. I could bend over and not feel like my pants are gonna split or anything for sure, but it's not like wearing leggings, you know. Every once in a while you find that unicorn thing that's as comfortable as wearing pajamas, but still looks nice. This is not quite as comfortable wearing pajamas, but it, it is very nice. It does look nice and it goes perfectly with that blazer. Let me show you the next item. Number three is this Scoop tie neck top for $28. It comes in two different colors, sizes extra small through 2XL, and I am wearing a size extra small. So let's talk about this shirt that I wore with this suit. First off, I should have worn a nude bra with it. I'm so bad about doing that in the videos. But anyway, it's got this little tie here. I am not great at tie 
tying bows. I know some of you probably have some fancy way to tie bows. I'm not one of those people. The model online though just shows it like this and I don't think it looks bad. Kind of just a relaxed um, laid back look. But if you wanted to really get formal, button it all the way up and do the tie, you definitely could have that look too. I think both ways would be cute personally. And let me tell you about this shirt though. So I got an extra small, which would typically be my normal scoop size. Um, show you what it looks like untucked so you can get an idea of the length. It fits everywhere except right from here to here in the arms. It does feel a little tight and there's not a lot of give there. I never have that problem. In fact, I think this is a, one of the first shirts I've ever had in my life that felt a little tight right through there. It does have a little bit of elastic, like I can do this and feel it stretching in the back. Um, it's just slightly uncomfortable, not terrible. Definitely not a deal breaker, but just something to be aware of before you buy it. If you're sensitive to things like that, it might bother you. Now, let me show you with the blazer though. I wanna show you something real quick. Okay, let me show you with the scoop blazer. It's like this shirt was made for this blazer and maybe it was because the sleeves hit right where that scrunch hits. It's got this little button right here so that if you would like to roll it back, you can, and it is the absolute perfect length with the scrunch sleeve on this blazer, and I love that about it. I personally like to wear it like that. Um, this is probably how I would wear it if I was gonna wear it, maybe with the shirt tucked in. Maybe some different shoes, I'm not really sure, and definitely get it hemmed for me. Um, but anyway, so it definitely, oh, I got this all messed up. I can't see that in my camera, guys, so I was looking goofy there for a second. But anyway, um, this comes in a black also. Scoop has come out with a few kind of office wear business looks this season that I really love that I'm gonna be showing you guys, and this is one of them. So if you find a suit or blazer or something and you need kind of a, a simple dressier business shirt to go with it, this would be a great option. It does come in black and in this creamy whitish color. Number four are these Scoop black heels for $34. They come in two different colors, sizes six to 11, and I'm wearing a size six and a half. Okay, so this is the block heel that I was talking about. I was wearing this with. This also comes in a very pretty, vibrant, bright orange color, which is part of Scoop's color palette this season. So if you find those, you can find lots of really cute things to match with those. Normally it's hard to match things like that, but not with Scoop because you have a lot of variety in their collection. Anyway, um, this is fairly comfortable. It's not uncomfortable because it's got the block heel. I mean, I wouldn't be running any marathons in it, but for a dress shoe, it's comfortable. And then it's got the rouging here, which is really on trend right now, <clears throat> excuse me, for this season, and a little bit of padding um, in the sole. Someone asked last video, why I don't show these tried on. Um, boots and things are a little different. There are a few different reasons that I don't, but sandals, listen guys, after you get about the 15th foot fetish comment, you will stop trying on sandals and then posting videos online for everyone to see and for free at that. Not that I would have anyone pay for that, but I'm just saying for free. So that is why I show you sandals like this to keep the creepers out. Anyway, these are comfortable. I would recommend these. Definitely go get them. Number five are these scuba pants. They are a knit wide leg pant for $28. They come in sizes extra small through 2XL and I'm wearing a size extra small. Okay, a second ago I was talking about those unicorn pieces that you find every once in a while that are as comfortable as pajamas but put together looking. This is a unicorn piece, guys. You are not going to want to miss out on this one. Absolutely not. If you don't buy anything else in this video, get these pants, please. So these feel 110,000% like lounge pants. They've got the elastic waistband here, but it looks flat through here. It even has kind of like a fake zipper look. There's not actually a zipper there though. And it feels very soft and very much like sweatpant material. It's knit material, but it feels like comfortable sweatpants. It looks though like a dress pant. I mean, Seriously, this looks like a dress pant. Even the hem here looks like the hem of a dress pant. So you can get away with wearing these to the office or wherever you have to wear them to and dress it up a little bit and totally look put together. I mean, maybe not with the shirt untucked like this, but you get the idea. You can totally put together. Let me put it together with that blazer and show you what it would look like. <clears throat> um, or you can wear it out for a casual day, maybe put on a pair of sneakers and a t-shirt. You could even put a blazer with that and have a more casual kind of a, a funky look. I love pieces like this. This this may be one of my favorite pieces from this video. I have a feeling. I haven't tried them all on yet. I don't know. I've got a couple more I'm really excited about. I'm going to show you here in a second. But this one's going to be hard to beat for sure. Pretend like 
my shirt isn't showing out through the bottom here. It's tucked in. I honestly can't see this on the camera, guys. So you have to tell me. I'll have to see it when I look back. I don't know if this looks good or not. But you get the idea. Definitely don't skip on these. I am 5'2", and I have that block heel on again with it. And it's a... I would say a perfect length just about with the block heel. It is a wide leg. It does have, it doesn't have the pockets in the back. It does have pockets in the front. It doesn't have the pockets in the back like the trousers, but it does have this darting here. I don't know if that's showing up on camera. I can't tell from my point of view, but it, it does make it look a little more like a dress trouser, a business casual pant rather than a lounge pant. Love these. Number six is this scoop crossbody bag. It was $40 and it's on sale for only $23. Okay, I also found this scoop purse that would totally be great for the office, business look, or really just anything. But it's on sale, it was $40 and now it's only $23. If you guys have not had a bag from the scoop brand, they are amazing quality. Let me show you real quick. This is a heavy metal. This is not plastic. Like this is a good chunk of change right here. <laughs> not really because it's not not expensive. It's very affordable, but it also has this uh, crossbody strap that is removable. So if you want it to look a little more business-like and formal, I say formal, I'll use the word loosely, like you can wear it um, without the crossbody like this, more like a handbag or a satchel. And then if you just want your hands free and to be comfortable, you can wear it like a crossbody and that works too. It is adjustable. So that's really nice. The only color that is left is this tan color. I personally love this color. It would have been the one I would have picked anyway. I am a sucker for these types of colors. Um, let me show you the inside. It's still got all the stuffing in it, but it does have two compartments here. It's got a little side pocket here, a zipper pocket here. And then on the back, I love purses that have this. It's got just a little pocket right here. You can slide your cell phone in. This feels so luxurious. I really wish you guys could feel this. It feels amazing. Very, very good quality purse. And the, for the price, that is unbelievable. This is great. I love this. Number seven are the Sofia Vergara Fit and Flare Pants. They were $25 and they are now on sale for $22. They come in six different colors and sizes extra small through 3XL and I'm wearing a size medium. Okay, I don't know if any of you saw my last video. I had a pair of pants almost identical to these, only they had a cross on the top and I called them the Sofia Vergara Pants, but it was because I was confused. I had also ordered these and I thought, those were them, but those were actually Avia pants, which explains why they fit differently than I was expecting. Anyway, I did correct that down in the comments. So if any of you clicked on the link, you could see that I made the mistake while I was talking about it in the video. But these are the actual Sofia Vergara. Now, if you have been around here for very long, you know that Sofia Vergara leggings are my absolute favorite and not just mine, but many of yours. You have commented that you love them, that like nothing compares to the comfort of them. These are exactly like those as far as the material goes, just as comfortable, same material, same waistband, same everything. However, I would normally wear a small in those. Honestly, I could probably get away with an extra small because it's a little loose in the calves sometimes. These are a medium though. I did get a small in these before and they were just too tight, so I ended up not wearing them. Even the medium feels just a little tight through here. Now, this is the thickest part of my body and um, that it doesn't always look like it on camera, but I promise it is thicker in proportion to the rest of my body, my thighs are. So if you don't have that problem, that may not be tight through here, but for me it is. I would almost be able to wear a large, only I would be a little worried that the waist would be too big then because right now it fits perfect, if not slightly loose. Um, so there's that. I love these. I feel like the Sofia Vergara brand typically shows less hell damage than other brands, but it's not magic. It's not going to erase it completely. I haven't yet to find a pant to do that. Now I am 5'2", and with my platform sneakers, these I feel like, I don't know if you can see them there, are the perfect length on me, which I love. So if you're tall, these are going to be high waters. I said this in the last one when I thought I was had the Sofia Vergara pants and I didn't, but sometimes Sofia Vergara athletic pants, a few of them come in different lengths for the choices. I don't think that these did, but I can't promise that. So again, I'm wearing a medium, which is my size up for my normal Sofia Vergara brand or size. So I would definitely size up in these. They are very comfortable. I don't know how popular this is with the age group um, that usually watches my audience, which is my age group and up, um, because I don't feel like they sell as well as the normal leggings. But this is actually what's in style now more than the normal leggings. If you look at what the teenagers are wearing. And now I'm not saying we have to dress like the teenagers, but honestly, these were in style years ago and we all wore them. So if you like them, they're very, very trendy right now. If you want to be comfortable and just have something to go to the store in, grocery store, wherever you got to run errands and not be in your pajamas, but still be very comfortable. These are a great choice. 
for sure, hands down, love these. If nothing else, they're great for just around the house. Also, shameless plug, this t-shirt come from my online shop. I'll put a link for that, mousylees.com. Uh, I have lots of cute graphic tees and some really cute jeans, accessories. I try to put fun stuff in there. It's not your normal average things you see when you go to the store, so check it out. Um, I hope you find something that you like. Number eight are the Time and True three strap sandals for $22.95. They come in two different colors, and then there's another length. They come in another black color. I will try to put both those links down there for you. Size is six to 11, and I'm wearing a size six and a half. Here is another sandal I wanted to show you guys. This is from Time and True. I think I showed this in a black color in a previous video, and then I saw it in this nude ombre effect and had to get this. In my experience, I may be wrong, but usually I'm right with my predictions. This nude color sells out quicker than any other color, and this will probably sell out. I'm gonna go ahead and predict it. I don't know how fast, but this is gonna be one of the first things to sell out in their spring collection for sure. Um, Time and True is starting to put some memory foam on their sandals, which they haven't always done in the past, so that's much appreciated. And this also has an elastic here. I hate having um, a lot of the sandals that don't have the elastic. If they hit the wrong spot on the top of your foot, when you come up to walk, it just rubs a spot and it's so uncomfortable. So this gives you a little bit of leeway there. I like that about them. I have a fairly wide foot. I did have to kind of shimmy my foot down in there, but once I got it down in there, I felt like they fit okay. And I, I would imagine with where this would stretch out even more. So if you have a super, super wide foot, these may not be for you. If it's just a little bit of a wide foot like me, then these could probably still work for you, especially with the elastic there. Definitely think these are gonna sell out. These are gonna be a great pair of shoes that you can wear with a summer dress. You could wear with a t-shirt and jeans. You could do a dressy jean look with this, and this would just go with so many things. This is one of those great go-to shoes when you pick out an outfit, and you don't really know what shoes in your closet can go with it. Just slip these on, and there's a good chance that this is gonna match your outfit. Number nine are the Free Assembly Super High Rise Straight Jeans. They come in five different washes, sizes zero through 22, and I'm wearing a size six. So these are the Free Assembly brand. I love the Free Assembly jeans. I have several of them. Um, and normally I like them. They are good, thick, good quality denim. So I like that about them. These come in different washes. The other washes do not have the patch. So if you're not a fan of the patch here, never fear, it comes without the patch. I just thought this would be fun to show in the video. It does have a raw hem. Let's talk about the fit though. So in free assembly jeans, I typically run between a four and a six, depending on probably how bloated I am that day or if I've gained five pounds in the weeks past. Now I have gained a few pounds. I am usually on the upper end Right now I'm on the upper end of what I usually am. So I went ahead and got a size six instead of a size four. The waist is a little loose on me. I have a little bit of gapping here, which I probably wouldn't have if I would have ordered a size four, but they're very comfortable and they probably wouldn't be this comfortable if I would have ordered a size four. So keep that in mind if you're a shape like me. Um, I typically think they are somewhat flattering. These aren't my favorite as far as flattering goes that I have had of the free assembly, but they're fine and the patch is super fun. Um, I'm 5'2 and they're a little long on me, but it's a raw hem, just cut it off or roll it up. It's in style, it's totally fine. So don't fret about that if you're short like me. Uh, but I love these. These are great, very comfortable, a nice straight leg jean. Oh, and they're very, very high too. It actually comes over my belly button. My belly button is probably right about where the button is actually um, on these pants. So if you want a high rise, there you go. All right, if you guys got any value at all from this video, please hit that like button and consider subscribing to my channel to hang out with me, Mousy Lee.